So we're gonna go some hip drives today, okay? We're gonna be standing hip drives, all right? I'm gonna use my true stretch here as my base of support, as my point of stability. So the hip drive can be done like so. Uh, let's say I start more of an upright, okay? First, you can choose whether or not you want to go flat feet versus a forward and 10. That's maybe something that, you know, you build up on. So let's say we go flat feet to begin here, right? Flat feet, hands are gonna go out. Now this can be a wall. This can be a doorway. This can be a couch, uh, depending on how high, a bed, a chair. There's so many options. Everyone has them in their home. You can do this, all right? I want you to access your hips, all right? So here, and we're just gonna go into the sagittal plane hip drive, all right? Sagittal plane hip drive. So in speaking to that, I'm just going to work the forward and back motion of the hip, just like so, all right? So you'll notice as I drive it back into flexion, I'm almost getting more of a bend in my knee, and I'll bring it into extension, almost straightening the legs out and through, all right? Just like so. Okay, I'm gonna go 10 reps of this. One, two, three, four, till I hit 10. Then I'm gonna take it into a frontal plane, which is your side to side or the translation of the pelvis here. Okay, kind of like you're rocking the hips. So, so you can see I'm going left to right here, left to right, just moving that pelvis along, all right? So same thing, I'm leaning against that wall and I'm just gonna work that pelvis from left to right here. I'm gonna hit my 10 reps, all right? One, two, three, till I hit 10, all right? Then I'm gonna take it into rotation. So from this position here, if I'm leaning, I'm now going to rotate the pelvis from left to right, all right? So now I'm spinning that pelvis through from left to right. All right, each one is gonna elicit a different response through the body, but ultimately we're looking for access to the hips and the things directly below and directly above. So it's gonna be feeding your thoracic spine, your lumbar spine, it's gonna be feeding the hips, the medial and the lateral aspect as it transitions down toward the knees and kind of how those, the interaction, the relationship takes place through there. So that would be your sagittal, your frontal, and your transverse plane hip drive. You can do that again, standing up just like so. Maybe after the first week of doing this every day, you come up onto your toes and you work that same motion, all right? Same motion, but now you're creating forward intent, almost right up on our toes. We have a forward intent, okay? So just options there, that is going to be your hit drive movement snack, get after it.